leaves they come. So make ready the tinges. We go cut them. Razia. Yes, sir. Uh, we knew you in this area for a very long time, and we've never seen you writing about music or anything in any music studio. But just to realize, you came out with uh, a very good album. We even had it on the radio everywhere. Yeah. And it's quite shocking. So what do you have for the people in Bogotanga? Yeah, no, you know, really, music is something you have to determine. And music is a music, you know. You know, coming with music is something. And moreover, my music is just talented, you know. And, you know, I did music back at my kid days, you know, with friends and a lot. And, you know, music is something hard to detain. And so I play my music. I don't play music to insult people. I play music to tell more about life, how life moves. And I play music to tell people to calm down, to slow down and see how they can help each other and do a very nice thing to each other. You know, and music is something that you can send a message to anyone. You know, you can't just go to somebody and say, look, you are this, you have to calm down, you have to do this, you know, you have to feel it, put it in the music. When you put it in music, you heard it very nicely. So, I think that is my style. Yes, sir. Uh, and a, a lot of people also talk about your style of music. Yeah, you You do it in a local but international way. Yeah, ma'am. Why did you choose that? Like, a lot of people do hip life, hip hop. Why did you choose the reggae style in a local way? Why, why did you choose yeah, that? I prefer that reggae is the music that tells you much about your background and tells you much about your life and the way it is supposed to be you know with our reggae music there won't be a better life reggae music tells us the truth let us know what is good and bad you know you heard something from our king the bob marley you heard something from him and as you know reggae is the the the, the most rightful way that you know as a musician you have to go hip hop is not my music it's dance style in hip life cannot bring you something that you need. It's a reggae who tells you what to do in your life, to tell you what where you are, and to tell you much about your education and other things. So you know, I believe in reggae. Reggae is my song, and you know, I have to put the reggae in my local, put the reggae in a, a different way, like an English way and other things. You know, so I believe in reggae. You know, Rastafari. We believe in a jar Rastafari, Salasi. You know, so that is my style. That is my style. And I I believe uh, this is not my first time. You know. Yeah, this is not the first time of this Hello. interview. A lot. They interview me a lot. And moreover, I've Hello. seen Hello. what is the Hello. best way for me to do is that to just Hello. let the people know Hello. music is determined and music is the right way for I know a musician to put an effort and also Hello. bring his albums out. You know, so that's the way I need my Hello. music. And I believe. Uh, hey, this is not my first, this is not my second. There's <coughs> more music on my way coming. So I believe Ja will also do his thing. We believe that Ja Rastafari is the king of kings, conquer the lion of the So Ja will do everything. Blessed, my Lord. Rastafari. Uh, dear, hey, there's a lot of rumors around people saying you have a wife and a kid. And as a responsible father, how do you cope up with your music? Yeah, Taking care know, of your wife and your daughter and having time. How do you do that? You know, you know, music. Music just tells something about uh, your your way. It's just a time. Music is a time. So you know, you just a little time. You can make your music. You can't just simply because of you have to get a time for your wife, your kids. You can make a music. You have a little time to make a music. You know. So having a wife with kids doesn't mean you can make a music. You can make a music. And uh, is your wife in support of what you are doing? You know, some women do go against some issues like this, but we yeah. want to know if yeah. only your wife is yeah. in full support. Yeah, yeah man. You know, me, uh, my wife supports me in the music in such a way that, you know, she has to support me. She know I have the talent in it and I'm so good in the music. So he knew that things are very good. So he needs to put the support on me. So has she been doing it? She's been putting her effort on me. For running my music and other things off. Uh, you are you are a Bulgarian, and but you you stay in Accra. Yeah. And most of the Bulgar guys also stay there. People like Kina Yusuba and Rabdi and Co. How do you social associate yourself with them? You know. In terms of futuring, do you have any difficulties in that? Do you know, they, are you free? You know. Yeah. Music music is something like you have to collaborate. 
and you know we are not we are all uh, northern guys and you know a music that brings us together and music tells us what to do and bring our people together and make things to be strong so I to me I believe coming together or the guys to know me or I know the guys is something very good is the music that made us to know each other yeah so I think it's a good, good idea for us what we always come together to do things, to talk to each other, to see how we can make a music very nicely enough. Yeah, I really is something very sound. Um, I think it's something that I appreciate a lot. There are a lot of young, talented guys in the region. Yeah. Looking forward to people like you to push them up so they can bring forth their music. But there's no way they don't get access to that. So how how do you intend to help these young people? Yeah, do you yeah. allow their talent to just go off like that, or you have better plans for them? You know, it's not me. It's Rastafara. He's going to do the better thing. You know, I cannot say some of us can put in effort. Yeah, some of us cannot say we can put an effort on it. Yeah, it's Jah that will do his way. Jah is the creator. He's the one who always do everything. And I believe Jah will may help for the youth that are also coming to big up for music industry. And it's very nice to be in the music industry. It's good. So I think I don't have anything more than this. This is what I have. They have to just pray for it. Pray for it to see how you can make things. So I believe in that. Uh, but the last but not the least, people do say a lot of our rasters. So just like a rasta cannot do dread to school, like to be a teacher, to be in office. People see a lot of our people having dread on their hair, like they look like you are a threat to the public. How do you see this? You know, being a Rastafara, yeah, you know, Rasta, Rasta is not a crime. You know, Rasta is something, you know, through our, our forefathers. It was something through our forefathers. They, they were living it this way. During those days, there wasn't a comb. There wasn't nothing to shave the head. You know, so they leave it this way, and there's something to be, something to be in our culture. So you can't just see somebody say he's a rasta, the person's a rough guy, or he's a criminal, or he's a, because he's a rasta, a rasta, he drinks a lot, he smokes a lot. No, you know, believe in rasta. Rasta is your heart. Rasta is something to detain. Rasta is something to tell the youth or to tell the world that yeah, really, this is what we need to do. Yeah. Yeah, coming back to your music, uh, how, where can one get some of your CDs to buy in Borga? Yeah, Tanya? really, you know, in Borga you need to get my CDs, you know, you need to go to Aminu. You yeah, have a guy just at the middle of the station there called Aminu. You go to, no, you know, you go to a lot of places, like where they sell the CDs, you can find my CDs. Yeah, I need this, my uh, video CDs is coming just very soon. Yeah, just to make sure. Uh, the people will see the message that I always have, you know. So looking at things, the music is just around the corner, lively coming for people to have a look. So I think just one of these days, the people may have my videos. So before we wrap up, what do you have for the people of Ghana and Upper East? Yeah, I'll say big up, big up, my lord, big up. You know, they have to just put an effort. You know, we have to love each other and see how we can ball. Don't just say. Yeah, you are a shanty, you are a fancy, you are a frap fra, you are an, uh, the gumba and others. I agree, or, you see, that thing cannot like, build the world, cannot build the nation. We have to come together, we have to forget about those things all and come together. We are one together. You know, together as one, as one people, live together. That is the sound of the world. So I believe what we are doing all is nothing. We have to come together and make sure we can carry the world. So I believe in that. Rastafari. Mm -hmm. Through this interview, we've been holding a guitar. Yes, sir. And if you will be pleased, if you can do some kind of freestyle for us, just some kind of one-minute freestyle. You know, I, the, the, the freestyle can make, you know, the freestyle can make, you know. So, I, I show everything that we need to do is to roll the guitar, you know.
time having you yeah, live man. in our interview yeah, show. Man. So hoping to meet you next time again. Okay, right. Oh, big up. Bless it, my lord. No, can't just stop. Yeah? Stop. It's stop. No, no, no.